morning, everyone. This is Julie McDonald with Microcom Technologies, and I'd like to thank all of you for attending today's webinar with TP Link. Today's host is Ron Dennis. He is their sales manager in the Southwest region, and he'll be presenting today. If anyone has any questions, please submit them in the question box, and Ron and Vincent Tu, their engineer, will answer them at the end of today's presentation. Ron, thank you so much for being with us today. I am finished for now, so please go ahead and take it on over. Thank you, Julie. Um, appreciate the time. Thank you, Julie, and hello, everyone. My name is Ronald Dennis, and I'm one of the regional sales managers here at TP-Link. Uh, we really appreciate the opportunity to share the TP-Link offerings with you today, and I, wanna, uh, I want to offer a special thank you to all the veterans today on Veterans Day. And with that, we'll get started. Before we get started, I, I want to share with you uh, that we have just TP Link released our new community platform in order to provide faster and more professional support for our end users and our partners like Microcom. You can communicate uh, through this platform directly with the engineers about installations, configuration, or any other questions for TP Link Enterprise products directly. <clears throat> you can even communicate with me directly on sales questions, sales issues, and how to help drive more business. And with that, we're going to get started. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the Omada solution. That's going to be basically our focus. Our Omada is our new solution. It's relatively new in terms of that we finally got it uh, up, operational, up and running, and we have products that we're selling uh, that support or that are a part of the Omada solution. Uh, we're going to talk about the uh, 802.11ax, which is our Wi-Fi 6 products. <clears throat> and we're going to talk about the uh, Omada access points, safe stream, uh, gateways and uh, you know, that, that is provided by the Omada SDN. We're going to talk about what Omada does, and then uh, we'll move into some of our additional PoE and non-PoE jet stream switches and lightweight switches that do not do not a part of Omada, but uh, are part of the TP Link product offering. So the Omada solution. What is Omada? Omada is our software-defined network. It's a platform. It integrates network devices, including access points, switches, gateways. And provide 100% centralized centralized management. Omada creates a highly scalable network, all controlled from one single interface. Seamless wireless and wired connections are provided, uh, ideal for use in various applications like hospitality, education, retail offices, and other places like that. The Omada controller, <clears throat> excuse me, the Omada SDN controllers are easy to deploy, and the network tailored to different needs and budgets. Omada SDN controller offers uh, diverse deployment solutions. We have the Omada software controller, uh, the Omada hardware controller, and the Omada cloud controller. Each have their own set of advantages and applications. And the intuitive Omada, um, Omada app, which you can get through the App Store, makes network management uh, uh, very convenient when you're on the go. Uh, more, than, uh, more than building a basic network, the Omada controller brings uh, multi-access control, traffic and application policies to address your advanced business needs, VPN customizable portal, 802.1x, authentications and other security policies, embed, embed security into your network in the simplest and fastest way possible. For hassle-free centralized cloud management, Omada SDN controller is a command center and management platform at the heart of the Omada network. With this single platform, the network administrators can configure and manage all, amount, all Omada products, which cover all your routing, switching, and Wi-Fi needs. Uh, Omada SDN controller provides a unified approach to configuring enterprise networks, comprised of, as I said, routers, switches, and wireless access points. This unleashes new levels of management to help you avoid complex and costly over-provisioning with our zero touch provisioning uh, portion of that uh, Omada solution. Omada products uh, have higher efficiency with easy network monitoring. For example, troubleshooting based on a clean dashboard. Omada SDN controller provides a single dashboard uh, for showing the system and client status. To simplify monitoring your network, the clean and simple dashboard keeps the network administrators informed with a quick overview of the health of every network device and client on the wired and wireless network. Omada SDN controller emails and pushes notifications about various levels of network logs, which allows the, a proactive troubleshooting. 
Comprehensive logs reduce the time spent uh, resolving network issues with less mundane troubleshooting. Troubleshooting work, uh, the network administrator can monitor the network with ease. Uh, with our AI-driven technology that's a part of the OMADA solution, tp link OMADA helps uh, IT staff analyze potential network problems and receive optimized suggestions uh, to improve network efficiency. It further helps to locate network faults, notifies users of them, and then generates solutions to reduce network risk. Uh, for higher security, the tp link OMADA separates network management data from user data. With no user traffic passing through the cloud, uh, ensuring better protection for user privacy, powerful firewall, a virus safe, safe things, protects the network from, from uh, excuse me, protects the network <clears throat> and the data, excuse me. A virus safe things uh, uses artificial intelligence and machine learning to detect uh, anomalies in the behavior of smart devices, automatically intercepting cyber attacks, authorized, uh, excuse me, unauthorized remote access, malware, and other threats. OMADA SEN offers flexible options. As I mentioned in the past, there's a couple of different options, or th actually three different options. OMADA SDN provides two kinds of SDN controllers, cloud-based controller, completely in the cloud, and our hybrid controller. That's an on-premise uh, controller with full cloud access, giving you maximum choices uh, and full control of the whole network from the cloud to fit your business needs. The OMADA cloud controller is deployed on the OMADA cloud. One of our, excuse me, one of our motor cloud servers, providing paid service with tiered pricing. With a paid subscription to the Omada cloud service, you do not need to purchase any additional hardware, devices, or install the software uh, on a host. Furthermore, the TP-Link support team uh, can offer professional personalized service for networks with more than 500 devices. The Omada on-premise controller with, with cloud access is a management device uh, which is pre-installed with the OMADA software controller. You just need to pay for the device. No subscription or anything is, is needed there. Then the built-in OMADA controller software is free, as I mentioned, to use no license fee or extra cost required. It's a little bit bigger than a cell phone, uh, and the device is easy to deploy and, uh, and install on your network. And the cloud management uh, uh, with the OMADA app. When you're out and about, as I mentioned, uh, IT guys are out, maybe at a job site, uh, you can monitor the man and manage the wireless network online from a web browser or via OMADA app on the phone or tablet. Now, if you have questions about the OMADA app, I can provide you with a, a link at the end of this uh, session uh, that can provide you more questions about, answer more questions about that specifically. And then in terms of product uh, compatibility list, I can provide you with another link for that as well at the end of this, uh, end of this uh, presentation. Now, in terms of high reliability, what we have developed is the OMADA Cloud SLA, or our service level agreement, guarantees 99.99% availability. And that's with 24-7 automated fault detection. We have redundant geographically isolated servers, which help to reduce the possibility of cloud downtime. Your network will function even if management traffic is interrupted. Besides that, we have obviously a high quality products, which will further ensure the reliability and operation of your network system. Uh, Wi-Fi 6. Uh, so these are some of the Amada access points. Uh, this is our, our AX product, or our Wi-Fi 6 product. Our AX uh, APs provide uh, more of a high density connectivity with four times increased capacity. So we have the uh, OF, DMA, and the uplink and downlink MU MIMO, which increases network capacity by up to four times versus our Wi-Fi 5, which is our uh, AC product, especially in high density environments to connect more devices simultaneously. And you'll be able to leverage uh, multi-user capabilities and upgrade your businesses like never before. The OMADA uh, Wi-Fi 6 access points optimize every detail of your network connection to significantly improve network efficiency and deliver increased speeds you will be able to eliminate a lot of this buffering most of the times. So as you can see, we're currently shipping the EAP66HD, excuse me, 660, excuse me, and then the uh, EAP690, 620, and the 620 Outdoor will be shipping uh, sometime here very soon, I believe here in Q, at the end of Q4, but I'll confirm that. 
And then we're going to talk a little bit about the access points in general. Uh, that is our Wi-Fi 6 product. We're only shipping one of those right now, which is a 660. But this is what our access points in general will provide. Um, these the access points are predominantly scenario-based designed. So they're designed access points for various kinds of environments. And that's how we looked at it. So for example, our ceiling mount AP is suitable for relatively large outdoor public places, such as uh, offices, such as large offices, stadiums, lobbies, et cetera. Our wall plates uh, are designed, are suitably designed for like small room venues, indoor scenarios like hotels and dormitories, MDUs. And then our outdoor APs are suitable for outdoor public scenarios like swimming pools, garage, uh, excuse me, gardens, large areas, et cetera. These are the actual access points uh, and the uh, products that, we're, that we are currently shipping for the exception of the AX18 uh, and the AX6000, and those will be shipping uh, soon. Uh, one of the key features of our access points is our mesh. Uh, this supports seamless roaming, so even video streaming and, and voice calls are unaffected as users move between locations. They also support cloud centralization management, which is our Omada solution, and the Omada app for ultra convenience and easy management. They also support uh, power over Ethernet 802.3AT uh, and AF uh, for convenient and affordable installation. They support secure guest networks along with uh, uh, multiple uh, authentication options like SS, SMA, SS, SMS, uh, Facebook, and uh, Wi-Fi vouchers, et cetera, and abundant wireless security technologies. We support uh, band steering, uh, automatically moving dual band devices onto a wider five gig uh, band for faster connections. And we support load balancing to ensure large numbers of users have smooth network experience in high density business network uh, environments. And of course, we support uh, management of VLAN for enhanced network management. So these are the, uh, the from the N to the uh, uh, AX3600. That's what we're currently offering right now for two people products in terms of uh, ceiling mount access points. And these are our wall plate in our outdoor access points specifically. So uh, the EAP wall is an Omada, well, actually it's the EAP 235 wall plate. And we'll use that one as an example. It's the Omada AC 1200 wireless MU MIMO gigabit wall plate uh, access point ready for the Omada SDN controller for centralized management and monitoring. Uh, it, it, it provides fast dual band Wi-Fi. And what I mean by that is it's simultaneous 300 megabits per second on a 2.4 gig, and 867 megabits on a 5 gig gives you a total of 1,167 megabits of Wi-Fi of Wi speed. And the 4 gig, we have 4 gigabit ports on that, uh, 4 gigabit Ethernet ports, one uplink, and three access ports. The PoE pass-through uh, is available. On, on one of the access ports, uh, providing power for desktop phones, cameras, and other devices. So they're really uh, good for uh, dormitories and uh, small venues like hotels and things like that. Uh, of course, it provides a centralized management, uh, which is the cloud access and Omada app for mobility and easy management. The EAP225 Outdoor uh, uh, provides uh, AC1200 wireless MU MIMO, uh, gigabit outdoor, indoor and indoor access point, Durable weatherproof, I think it's um, IP67 rated. So it has a durable weatherproof enclosure for outdoor Wi-Fi applications. As I said, up to 1200 megabits per second with a two by two MIMO technology. It also provides, uh, offers the uh, Omada mesh technology, which enables wireless connectivity between apps, excuse me, between APs for uh, extended range, making wireless deployments more flexible and convenient. It supports seamless roaming to you know, for video playbacks and voice calls, make that smooth between moving locations. And then it has a high transmission power and high gain antennas, provide a long range coverage area. It also provides obviously cloud centralized management through the Omada app, as well as through the cloud uh, solution. Captive portal provides a convenient method for guest authentication as well. So these are very robust uh, products. Uh, the mesh technology that I wanted to talk with you more about provides intelligent self-organization and self-healing. And what I, what I mean by that is the Omada mesh technology enables wireless connectivity between access points for extended range, and it makes wireless deployments more flexible and convenient. Intelligent self-organizing uh, uh, provides technology that automatically chooses the best route to extend your Wi-Fi uh, further and more flexibly. In terms of self-healing, if one link has an issue, 
the system will automatically reroute the data via the other uh, OMADA devices to make sure you stay connected and online. So we have some great technology within those products. And then the seamless roaming, more specifically, uh, for sensitive applications, seamless roaming, as I mentioned before, switches the clients automatically to the access point with the optimal signal when moving between different APs. Um, this allows sensitive applications, as I mentioned, like VoIP and video conferencing to go un uninterrupted. And then obviously the uh, convenient uh, guest network. So visitors, uh, when they come into your location, have access to the secure Wi-Fi captive portal and abundant wireless uh, security technologies. Newly added to the SMS authentication that simplifies the connection process, while Facebook authentication raises the social media profile of your business. Uh, the uh, captive portal types uh, are no authentications, simple passwords, local users, we use vouchers, as I mentioned, SMS, Facebook Wi-Fi, internal radio server, and, and uh, external uh, portal server. Now, some of the advanced features uh, for these products uh, are in your MIMO, uh, load balancing, air, airtime fairness, band steering, client management, and scheduling. And this is the uh, overview of the current products that we have available. And as I mentioned to you, the 620 is coming soon. Everything else there is available right now. Uh, two of our HD products. So. I'll go quickly here through the jet stream uh, gateways because we don't have very many of those. <laughs> uh, the current um, gateway that, we're, that we are uh, offering right now is the uh, TLR605, which allows for remote and centralized management anywhere. So it's a part of the uh, um, OMADA solution. It's also standalone management via the web UI or app is also available to max for maximum convenience. So this provides uh, up to four WAN gigabit ports uh, to optimize bandwidth usage, three freely interchangeable ports that can be set to either WAN or LAN, allow the router to support up to four WAN ports to satisfy various internal uh, internet access. Requirements to one device, the multi-WAN load balancing function distributes uh, data streams according to the bandwidth. So proportional to every WAN port to raise the utilization rate for multiple line broadband. Uh, the uh, TLR7206, I uh, hope to be released here in Q1, and I will get a confirmation on that as well. But that's what we know so far right now. Uh, our jet stream uh, switches, uh, Biomata, um, these are basically the switches have multiple application scenarios, and that's how we basically design our products for various application scenarios. Uh, they are fully um, compatible with POE devices such as IP cameras, access points, uh, and IP phones. We also work with non-POE wired devices to provide gigabit connections such as PCs, printers, and IP TVs. Uh, ideal for use in uh, hospitality, vegetation, retail, universities and schools, dormitories, and more like that. Uh, this is basically the, uh, the, uh, uh, an overview of all the switches. Just to give you a view of the, uh, the switches that we currently provide and what are on the roadmap here coming up soon. So the TP-Link provides convenient gigabit switches for, as I said, for the old model solution. So we integrated into the old model solutions as zero touch provisioning. I think I mentioned that in the past. Uh, so centralized cloud management and intelligent monitoring with that zero touch uh, provisioning. Uh, the centralized management cloud access and OMADA app for ultra convenience and easy management for all these switches. Robust security uh, strategies like IP Mac port, port binding, uh, ECL, port security, DOS, uh, Defender, Storm Control, DHCP, Snooping, 802.1x, radio authentication, and more. So uh, the most important part of this is that we optimize voice and, and video applications through the L2, L3, and L4 QoS and IGMP snooping. And obviously this virtual management web uh, CLI management model and uh, SNMP. Basically the scenarios that we uh, talked about are the Amadas, as I said, we specialize in designing for the hospitality education, retail, office, and more. In addition to the centralized controlled management zero touch uh, deployment and AI driven uh, network analysis, the Omada provides scenario-based products uh, to help you decide which product is going to work best for you. So we try to de develop them, provide you with the bill of materials, 
and then say this is going to be the best product for this particular application. So in this case, for example, uh, hospitality, I'm looking at wall plates, ceiling mounts, and the types of switches you're going to need, retail for POS applications, and things like that. In addition, education, we're looking at the EAP 660 for high density, the 620 wall plates for inside the rooms of the schools, uh, various rooms, or even the teachers' lounges, and then offices that can vary from different sizes of office, whether it's a general's office, law firm, whatever the case might be. So the OMADA provides scenario-based products uh, and rich benefits that can satisfy basically different types of environments and applications. I'm going to quickly go through the uh, the jet stream. These are the switches that we currently have offered, and we have a lightwave. So it's a fully managed switches, our smart switches, our easy smart unmanaged switches, our PoE switches, and then our light wave unmanaged switches. Excuse me. This is a list of our current switches. As you can see, we have non-PoE 1 gig, non-PoE 2.5 gig to 10 gig, uh, non-PoE fast ethernet, and then PoE 1 gig and PoE fast ethernet. Uh, this is our current offering uh, of the switches. Some of the names have been changed, uh, naming convention, and I'll talk to you a little bit about that and provide you with an update on that as well here in the next couple of slides. So fully managed switches, our fully managed switches are, are, are TP-Link layer two managed switches, which provide high performance, uh, powerful layer two and layer two plus features like static routing, enterprise level uh, QoS, advanced security uh, strategies and on ISP grade traffic control and monitoring features. Generally, our layer two managed switches provide uh, uh, static routing, which helps to you know, route traffic between subnets without an extra router. Uh, IP MAC port binding, uh, AC port, excuse me, <clears throat> ACL port security, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, 802.1x uh, authentication, and and much more. Uh, we uh, get, additionally the uh, the 19 inch rack mount means that these switches can only be installed in a rack. 13 inch rack mounts means that these switches can be installed in a rack or on a desktop. Uh, some additional uh, advantages uh, are our, our switches provide one micro USB console port, ALP proxy, and I mentioned DHCP relay, uh, S-Flow, uh, and, uh, and OAM. So some of these advantages, as you can see, this is a, and it also gives you a competitive analysis of D-Link, Cisco, and HP uh, to show you what our switches provide. Uh, our layer two managed switches are T2500G and 2600G series. Uh, help you understand the competitiveness. But the most important thing about our product, not only are they reliable and they're uh, compatible to our competition, uh, they are at a much better price point. Then our smart switches. Uh, these smart switches provide a huge upgrade compared with our previous versions. We have a new web GUI, uh, excuse me, a new web UI with uh, design features of better operating experience. These switches provide 10, 100, 1000 megabits per second. RJ45 ports, which support 802.3AF uh, and AT compliant. Uh, they're powerful and flexible enough to use to deploy wireless access points or IP-based uh, network surveillance cameras. Small and medium-sized businesses can, can get cost-effective network solutions without significantly enhancing, uh, without, uh, significantly enhancing their, their budgets in terms of finances. Uh, there's a great performance uh, because of the integrated layer two and layer two plus features. Uh, and I've mentioned those in the past. So, uh, so as I said before, the 19-inch rack mount means that uh, you can run in a rack, and then the 13-inch means that you can run them on a desk or in a rack. These are our smart PoE switches. And this is our smart uh, uh, non-PoE switches. Uh, so you can integrate voice and data, video surveillance and video service on one network with switches uh, because of the abundant uh, QoS policies. Uh, they, uh, the advantage of these, of these, of this one, for example, the uh, TLSG2428P. Uh, this particular switch uh, has administrators can designate the priority of the traffic based on a variety of functions. Uh, they can include uh, port priority 802.1P. Uh, uh, and as I mentioned, uh, these switches also come in 19 and 13 inch, which is a rack mount, desk mount, or rack mount for the 13 inch as well. And then this is just some of the specifications uh, on the switches, uh, T1700 series, T1600 series, and T1500 series. All these switches are shipping for the exception of the, the TLSL2428P. Uh, and I can provide you with more detailed information 
on each specific switch. And if you have a scenario, I can provide you with uh, a bill of materials for that particular scenario. And then uh, uh, this is a competitive analysis, uh, as I said, with Netgear, D-Link, Cisco, and HP. And as you can see, we offer pretty much everything that they offer, uh, sometimes a little bit more robust in terms of uh, usability uh, and exceptional performance, uh, but at a much better price point. Our easy, smart, unmanaged switches. Uh, what we have here is our unmanaged switches, 2.5 gig and 10 gig ports. These switches are equipped with the 2.5 gig and 10 gig RJ45 ports. These managed switches provide high speed connectivity and make powerful solutions for SMB networks. Uh, we are shipping right now just these two, which are the TLSX105 and 1008. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, I do not have a delivery date yet, but I believe they're going to be here very soon. We were just talking about those uh, just this past week. So we'll have these 10 gig switches. The interesting part about these are high speed connectivity, as I mentioned, plug and play, very simple to use, uh, fanless design, uh, and uh, durable metal casing. These are our rack mount non TOE switches. All of these are in metal casing. These are fast Ethernet to gigabit. These are go green with your Ethernet. So uh, you know you have a choice to go green when you upgrade to a gigabit network. Uh, this new generation of switch of, of our switches features the latest energy efficient technologies that can, that can greatly expand your network capacity with much less power. It automatically adjusts power uh, consumption according to the link status and cabling to limit the carbon footprint in your network. They have a power down idle ports when a computer or network equipment is off. Uh, the corresponding port of the traditional switch will continue to consume um, amounts, uh, considerable amounts of power. The TLSG models can automatically detect the link status of each port and reduce the power consumption of the ports that are idle. So they're very uh, inexpensive, good quality, uh, gold green type switches. And then our, our desktop non-POE switches, these are metal casings, and these, these are metal casings designed uh, for flexibility for offices, for large offices and small offices. For example, with the uh, T uh, see the SG116, it offers uh, 10, 100, 1,000 megabits per second ports. Uh, it greatly expands your network capacity. It provides work groups for creative production environments. Now move large bandwidth intensive files faster than transfer graphics like uh, CGI and CAD or multimedia files. And then our desktop PoE plastic casing switches. Uh, these are very easy to use, uh, lobby switches. And the auto features of uh, these switches make installation plug and play and hassle free. No configuration uh, is required. It has the auto MDI and MDIX, which eliminates the need for cr uh, crossover cables. For example, um, auto negotiating uh, on each port senses the link speed of the network device and intelligently adjusts for compatibility and optimal performance. So, a lot of power in a very small package in a plastic casing. And then we have our unmanaged uh, fast Ethernet switch. These are our new rack mount desktop PoE switches. They're all metal casing with uh, intelligent power management. Then uh, there are easy smart switches. Uh, some of our new easy smart switches, which are all being shipped right now. Uh, it provides this, uh, management. Uh, it's made it very easy. Our easy smart switches offer network monitoring for users to observe traffic behavior through its web-based uh, user interface and management utility. Easy Smart Switch also offers a variety of useful features, including network monitoring, traffic prioritization, and enhanced uh, QoS. And then these are just the specifications of those switches that we just discussed, uh, and uh, Easy Smart and Unmanaged Gigabit Ethernet switches. As you can see from this uh, list of specifications, you have a variety of choices to choose from uh, based on the application. And we'd be more than happy to, as I said, help you with provide you with the bill of materials for the specific application. And then this is obviously the uh, specifications for our uh, fast Ethernet switches. Uh, again, uh, lots of opportunities, uh, specifications in terms of availability. Uh, so you have options to choose from. And then these are our desktops, uh, switches, metal casing. Uh, metal case designed to bring connectivity and flexibility to smaller offices and home offices.
And this is our de desktop switchage which, uh, with our uh, metal casing. Uh, again, as you can see from uh, unmanaged fast ethernet, there are a few options to choose from, and you can see the specifications. All of them have green technology. And then our uh, desktop switches, uh, plastic casing. Uh, want to make sure that we touched on all these switches because we have a lot of availability, a lot of options. Uh, all these switches are shipping right now from, uh, from eight gigabit ports to five and so on. And then our last uh, line of switches are going to be our LightWave unmanaged switches. This is our new wave. Our LightWave series unmanaged switches provide the simplest and most affordable way to expand your wired network. They're reliable and easy to use. Just plug and play. No need to worry about cable type uh, with the, as I mentioned before, the MD, uh, the auto MDI and MDIX function. Uh, the automatic medium independent interface crossover is what that man stands for. Is a feature that allows the switch to interface uh, to detect uh, the required cable connection. And then it automatically configures the type of uh, connection that's appropriate. Uh, these are some of our newer switches. Uh, Lightweight switches, and they're designed to compete directly with uh, our net with Netgear. Lightweight switches are compact uh, desktop designs, so they bring connectivity and flexibility too. As I mentioned, small to uh, um, small offices to home offices. We are currently shipping the SL1008G and the SL1005G, and uh, the lightweight switches also support uh, energy efficient technologies. Uh, what I mean by that, it helps to, uh, to save power and money. Power consumption automatically adjusts, like the other switches, according to the link status and cabling, allowing you to expand your network while minimizing your carbon footprint. And you can save the planet. That's a lot of good things to do there. And then this is our competitive analysis. As I mentioned, we are competing directly with Netgear with these switches. And as you can see, uh, the switches are very compatible. Uh, our, our cost is going to be a lot less, uh, at least it's very compatible with the Netgear cost. Uh, and as you can see, the product that we offer is very comparable. And then finally, our PoE switches. And obviously, we all know what PoE is. It's power over Ethernet. It allows the device to require either uh, power, uh, a powered device, or uh, we supply the power. Uh, and all of our uh, PoE devices uh, are supporting AF, uh, so, uh, so the powered device is going to be 12.4, 12.95 uh, watts, and then the uh, PSE on the 30 watts is going to be uh, AT, uh, which is going to be uh, 30 watts, and, and the powered device is going to be maximum power of 25.5 watts. Um, from 57 watts to 250 watts of PoE power, Keeping switches offer extended mode, and I'll talk to you a little bit about that, priority mode, and isolation mode. Um, extended mode is up to 250, transmission, 250 meter transmission. With the extended mode uh, of ports, the PoE transmission distance reaches up to 250 meter, which makes it perfect for IP camera deployment in large areas uh, to cover. The priority mode is at higher performance and security guarantee the quality of sensitivity applications like video monitoring, by offering high priority options for ports with one touch priority mode. Uh, that can make the surveillance a lot smoother. And then our isolation mode, that's a one click traffic separation for all the ports. One click isolation mode easily divides traffic from all the ports to avoid snooping and tampering and enables the switch to isolate broadcast storms, improving land security and data transmission. And then uh, these uh, low-cost uh, gigabit PoE switches provide advanced functions for higher performance, QoS, uh, et cetera. So you're looking at um, four ports to eight ports. And these are TP Link gigabit PoE switches, rack mount, unmanaged. And we have our easy smart switches. Uh, for example, the uh, TLSG uh, uh, 105PE, yeah, we'll use that one, uh, has a dedicated four four PoE plus ports, so a 65 watt budget uh, for, uh, for numerous applications. It is compliant with uh, 802.3AF, AT, PoE plus, uh, and um, the, uh, the camo, the, excuse me, this product is designed for uh, dormitories, small businesses, 
It's fully compatible with IP cameras, access points, phones, computers, printers, etc. Then uh, the TP-Link uh, gigabit switches. Uh, so layer two managed smart. This is our new naming convention. If you have, it, if you can see that there. Uh, so the original model was, a, for example, let's just use the TLSG 2210P version three. Is a 1500G 10P version two. Uh, the updating is that the that that, that the PoE budget uh, has increased to 58 watts from 53 watts, etc. So this information here basically is giving you the what we've changed the naming convention and how these switches are being will be the best application for these switches. So some of the new naming conventions you can see and highlighted there. So the new switches are going to be the top name, the bottom name is the name that we have moved from. And then I use this example uh, for this product here, which is the uh, layer two managed switch, uh, the T2600G 28 MPS. So what this switch provides is 24 ports, uh, ethernet port, 24 ethernet ports, 10, 100, 1000 megabits per second, complying with 802.3 AT and AF. PO users can supply up to 348 uh, total power, 348 watts of total power to connect devices uh, and provide obviously flexible deployment. The layer two and layer three plus features include OAM, L2PT, and S-Low. Uh, and obviously this is a very good switch, one of our most popular switches. And uh, just want to point this one out here, the 24 dimension uh, gigabit ports. And then as I mentioned, this is going to be uh, basically how we name our switches and what's in the name. Uh, the name of our PoE switches, as you can see, the layer, the speed, the port, uh, uh, the PoE ports, uh, the uplink ports, and that's a model, and then the PoE budget. Uh, so I can provide this for you guys as well if you need this uh, to understand how our switches are named. Uh, but once you learn the first two or three, they all fall into place. The first letters on these are TP, so TP-Link, or the T for TP-Link, uh, as you can see from there. And then finally, uh, what does uh, our POE bring to you guys? And basically, a comprehensive selection. As, as I mentioned, layer two, easy, smart, smart, unmanaged POE switches, uh, extended mode, uh, which gives you the uh, 250 meter away, <clears throat> excuse me, for uh, large deployments for surveillance cameras, lower infrastructure costs. Our costs are going to be a lot less than uh, most uh, compatible switches. Uh, intelligent power management, which we discussed, uh, priority uh, mode. And then they have very good performance, flexibility with performance, and obviously our advanced functions. And just to recap, uh, the Omana Smart Cloud solution for business networking, uh, we have a centralized management platform, which includes basically three, the Omada hardware controller, which is the OC200 or the OC300, the Omada software controller, uh, which you uh, can put on your PC, and then the Omada cloud controller, which is strictly in the cloud, Obviously, the Omada access points, gateways, switches, in addition to uh, our jet stream switches and our routers that we discussed. That's a lot of information. And then just to recap, uh, you guys can always uh, reach out to us via our forum uh, in order to get specific information about products, uh, about configuration, about application. Uh, and if you need any sales support information about pricing and things like that. Obviously, you get your pricing uh, through uh, uh, Microcom, but in terms of product availability and application, I can certainly help you with that as well. And with that, we'll go with questions. Ron, thank you so much for that wonderful presentation. I'm sure we all enjoyed it very much. And yes, it looks like we've got some questions. Uh, let's get started with the first one here. Um, can you tell us, is there a fee involved with the cloud management software system? Yes, that is a tiered pricing model. Depending on the size of, uh, or depending on how much you need in terms of bandwidth, number of devices, and things like that, yes, there is going to be this tiered pricing. Uh, I can provide you with specific data on that. Uh, I'll shoot that over to Julie or someone, but in terms of what the cost will be. I don't have those numbers, but yes, there will be a tiered pricing for the cloud portion only. Thank you so much for that, Ron. Is there a free service um, with that? In other words, I understand the tiers 
but is there a free option? Yes, so the free option is the software. So there's two ways you can get, uh, you can uh, monitor your network or manage your network for quote unquote free. You can buy the hardware controller, the OC200 or the OC300. The software is embedded on that. You just pay for, this, for the hardware itself. And then that's an on-premise product. You're not paying for a service for that. For the, uh, um, and then for the uh, software, you can download the software onto a PC, onto a server, and that is no cost. You can also monitor your network that way as well. So there's three options. You have the cloud, which is strictly 100% cloud, which is going to be a, 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 a for larger applications, 500 more depends, depending on the application. Then you have the uh, on-premise or hardware controller. Then you will have the software control controller, which is which will be downloaded onto one of your PCs and or server. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> Thank you, Ron, uh, for yeah. that. I'm glad. Yes. This oh, is, uh, yeah, this yeah, is a uh, engineer Vincent, and just uh, a little bit more uh, explanation of the cloud service that we do have the hardware controller and software controller, and the software controller you can just install on the PC or you can upload to the cloud, such as uh, AWS as a uh, uh, your own hosted uh, software controller on the cloud, and additionally. TP-Link uh, provide a totally cloud control controller hosted by the TP-Link. And uh, the difference is that one uh, controller is hosted by you and the other uh, controller is hosted by TP-Link. Uh, the benefit that the controller hosted by the TP-Link is that uh, we adding up the uh, AI uh, backend engine. So there are a little bit more feature with that uh, TP-Link hosted controller, and that is the subscription based. And for the, the software control, you upload to the AWS, the cloud is free. You just pay for your access to the cloud through yep. whoever uh, whoever's gonna host your cloud for you, yeah. Yes. Thank you, Vincent. <laughs> Thank you, Vincent, for that, appreciate it. I'm gonna go on to the next question here for you. Um, could we go to your website and find uh, training uh, and or certification courses for your various lines of products? Very good question. So we do have information on our website specifically designed for, for you to uh, consume that information. In terms of specific training, I'm not sure, Vincent, have, do, have we developed that portion yet because i know the information is there but in terms of specific training for certification that i'm not sure of i think vincent might be able to answer that so i'm not sure of that one as of yet yeah we we do have the old uh certification program and we're uh, we are renovating it right now and if you have any uh, request on that you can just send the email to ronald and he will direct you to the latest uh, certification program yeah so i'll be happy to direct you to that, to that as well and provide you with all the information on the SDN solution as well. Excellent, thank you so much for that. Next question here, how many admins can be used on the cloud management software? Okay, so for the cloud-based, uh, uh, that is uh, what I'm saying is the TP-Link hosted uh, uh, cloud controller, and you can have uh, several tiers of the different administrators. Uh, of course, the first one is that the the subscriber subscribe subscription administrator, and then you can dispatch to the site administrator. And uh, there are, are power user and the viewer. Uh, there are so many uh, different tiers of the user. You can set it up. Thank you so much for that, Vincent. Next question here for you. Um, does TP-Link have a modem that has the ability to work with the cloud management software? Uh, we do not have the modem selling in the States, and we do use the controller to uh, hook up uh, your uh, access to the cloud. We're using the controller. So we don't have a modem per se. Yeah. Thank you guys for that. Next question here for you. Um, 
are there alerts available uh, in both or via both email and text? Yes. Um, yes. We do have a lot of uh, log in the new developed uh, SDN controller, and any you you can choose uh, what is the level of the notification you need, and it can uh, notify you through the email. Or if you install the Omada app on your cell phone, it can having the notification on through the Omada app to your cell phone. Excellent. Thank you so much. A couple more questions here for you. Um, can you give us the best way to go if anyone needs support or if Microcom needs to reach out to you for support? Uh, can we email either one of you or what do you suggest is the best way? Yes. So uh, I would suggest you email me directly first uh, and CC Vincent. Uh, some questions I can answer uh, without uh, any issue. If there's more deeper technical, higher level technical questions that need to be answered, yes. In terms of bill of materials or applications and what products that I would suggest for a certain um, scenario or situation, I can help you with that. But try to send an email to me and also CC Vincent uh, so that he can be in the loop as well. So absolutely, yes. And there's our email addresses right there. Excellent. Thank you so much for that, for the contact info. and. Uh, how easy it'll be to reach out for support. Thank you, Ron. Uh, last yep. question here for you. <laughs> Can you give us an overview of where your products are manufactured? Yes, they're manufactured in two places right now. They're China and uh, Vietnam. Is that correct, Vincent? Yes, uh, we're, mm -hmm. we're manufacturing in China and Vietnam. Yep. Excellent. Thank you guys so much for answering all those questions for us this morning. And also thank you to everyone for attending today's webinar. And if anyone has any further questions, of course, please feel free to contact your sales rep or email us at sales at microcomtech.com. And if you wish to view any of the products mentioned or shown here today, please visit us at www.microcom.us. And remember this webinar presentation has recorded and will be uploaded to our Microcom YouTube channel so you can view it again. Thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate your time and all your valuable information today. Everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you again. Bye-bye for now. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Vincent.